Okay, okay, okay. Tell me if this phrase sounds familiar. The fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in UK is Islam. This statement and others like it normally come from Muslims. And depending on the type of Muslim you speak with, this can be looked at as their affirmation of Islam being the one true faith. Or merely it can just be a simple observation based on research. However, whichever position you take on the issue, there seems to be a question that lies at the crux of the statement. If Islam is growing so fast, why is that? Could it really have something to do with their teachings truly being from God? What happened to Abraham? Matt Tah, he died. What happened to Musa? Matt Tah, he died. What happened to Noah? But didn't you tell me he lived to be 950 years? Huh? But what happened after that? He died. Muslims, what happened to Jesus? He's still alive. Hayyun, Jesus has never died. This is the belief of the Muslims. How Christians and Muslims differ? Christians believe that Jesus died on the cross and Jesus was resurrected last Friday, Good Friday, the celebration of the death of Jesus. And this past Easter, the holiest day of the Christians when Jesus was resurrected. Our belief is similar, almost. Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ They didn't kill him, they didn't kill Jesus, nor did they crucify him. بَلْ رَفَعَ إِلَيْهِ رَفَعَ إِلَيْهِ No, God raised Jesus up to himself. Do you believe? Turn back to your Lord. Turn back to your Lord in pardon and ask him for forgiveness. For by Allah, I turn towards Allah 100 times a day. 100 times a day. My brothers, the quality of repentance, the topic of repentance is a very, very interesting one. Allah loves you. Afik who are inside and the Mushrikeen. The Mushrikeen are also Kufar, but they are a special kind of Kufar. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the deen of Islam began as a stranger, something strange. So it shall return as a stranger, that is something strange. Religion has been a pretty big defining force in human history since like forever. Its consequence shapes cultures, societies, and even the very core of an individual's life. Therefore, I think we owe it to ourselves to analyze this claim about Islam being the world's fastest growing religion. Since as a worldview, it invariably affects us all in some kind of way. As we go through this topic, you'll notice that I'll be periodically quoting from the Pew Research Group, as it is actually this article titled, Why Muslims are the world's fastest growing religious group that Muslims use to validate their claim. So let's just jump straight into it. If it's true that Islam is the world's fastest growing religion, what are the reasons? I think a good place to start would be by describing the growth rates of Muslims within the past century. According to research done by Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary, they indicate that in the year 1900, the Muslim population was roughly 2 million, and by the year 2013 was at 1.6 billion. Adding further validity to this study, in June of 2010, Dr. Hussein Katani writes within the International Journal of Environmental Science and Development that within the past 70 years that the percentage of world Muslim population with respect to the total world population has increased steadily from 17% in 1950 to 26% by 2020, while the total population in the Americas increased from 339 million in 1950 to 1,057 million by 2020. The percentage of Muslims in the Americas increased from 0.1% in 1950 to 0.9% by 2020. When you compare this to Christianity, the Pew Research Group also indicates that the Christian population has seen good growth, growing from about 600 million in 1910 to more than 2 billion in 2010. However, the world's overall population also has risen rapidly, from an estimated 1.8 billion in 1910 to 6.9 billion in 2010. As a result, Christians make up about the same portion of the world's population today as they did a century ago. So there does seem to be some validity to the claim that Islam is the world's fastest growing religion. 
However, the reasons for this may shock you. Data indicates that Islam, being the fastest growing religion, has nothing to do with its claims about God. Instead, it has everything to do with birth rates. <laughs> yes, you heard that correctly, birth rates. If we actually read the article that Muslims parade around, it explains that Muslims have more children than members of the seven other major religious groups analyzed in the study. Muslim women have an average of 2.9 children, significantly above the next highest group, which is Christians, at 2.6, and the average of all non-Muslims, which is 2.2. In all major regions where there is a sizable Muslim population, Muslim fertility exceeds non-Muslim fertility. The growth of the Muslim population also is helped by the fact that Muslims have the youngest median age, which is 24 in 2015, of all major religious groups, more than seven years younger than the median age of non-Muslims, which is 32. A larger share of Muslims will soon be at the point in their lives when people begin having children. This, combined with the high fertility rates, will accelerate Muslim population growth. If we continue digging, it steadily goes downhill from here. The Pew Research article titled, The Share of Americans Who Leave Islam is Offset by Those Who Become Muslim States. In recent years, the number of American Muslims has been growing steadily, by around 100,000 annually. But the fact that the shares of people who enter and leave Islam are roughly equal suggests that conversions to and from the faith are having little impact on the group's overall growth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's rewind on that. What did it say? But the fact that the shares of people who enter and leave Islam are roughly equal suggests that conversions to and from the faith are having little impact on the group's overall growth. So much for Islam being the truth because of its message. But I'm curious, tell me, what do you think the future holds for Islam? If I can give my two cents about it, it's difficult to say for sure, but there does seem to be a reoccurring trend that we can observe. The growth of Islam does seem likely to continue. However, as we've pointedly shown, this reason is given to high birth rates and increasing globalization, not to mention that those who convert and leave Islam leave at a higher rate than those who convert and stay. So while it may be true that Islam may one day surpass the total population of Christians, this indicates nothing about the truthfulness of the religion, nor does it say anything about whether it possesses the ability to keep the faith of the converts. For this reason, if Islam surpasses Christianity, Within the following 100 years, Christianity or any other religion may surpass Islam in numbers, and Muslims will be right back where they started. One thing, however, is for sure. The claim that Islam is growing because it is the one true religion is not due to it being superior to Christianity or any other religion for that matter. It's due to a plain misrepresentation of the facts. It's okay for you to feel afraid. It's okay for you to feel those feelings of unworthiness, but you must not surrender to them. For we have a great high priest who can sympathize with us, but he was tempted in every way as we are, yet without sin. It's okay to be tempted. Don't give in to it. It's okay to slip up. Get up. It's okay that you go off, apologize, and paper it next time, for God's sake. You can tremble, that's the feeling, but you can't turn back, that's the commitment.